What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Larry Snow and today's video I'm going to do a variation on a video I did last year and that video was the MailChimp landing page lead magnet which went into a one-step automation. So the variation is we're instead of going into a one-step automation that landing page lead magnet is now going to go into a customer journey. Stay tuned. It's coming up next. If you're unfamiliar with the video I did last year, I'll leave a link right up here. You can go check that out, but let's dig in. So we get started in all campaigns. And to get to all campaigns, you click on the little campaign megaphone here. Click on all campaigns, and then we're going to click on landing pages, view by type. And then we're going to scroll up. Here is the landing page I did last year. And what we're going to do is just going to modify that one. So rather than creating a new landing page to save time in the video, I'm just going to replicate this one. To replicate an existing page, you'll have to unpublish it first. So we'll, we've already done that. And then we can go over to the drop down arrow and click on replicate. Once we have our new copy, we will edit the name so that we know what it is. So we'll call this the marketing ebook lead. Click on save. Page title. So we want to change the page title because this is what's seen in the browser. So we'll call this the marketing, oops, if I can spell right, marketing ebook giveaway and click on save. The URL, you have a couple of options here depending on if you have your domain associated with your account. If you do, instead of generate random numbers, you can click on that and select your domain. I'm just going to click on generate and I am going to change this to marketing ebook. Okay, pretty easy. Click save. Next and most important is the audience and tags. So the audience is important because once you select it and publish your landing page, you will not be able to switch audiences. Okay, so tags is what connects our landing page to our customer journey. So if you wanted to create a tag, you can just type in whatever you want and click on the tag you just created. But in our case, we're going to click on an existing one, marketing ebook. And then that is that. Then we get into the content. And again, I'm just going to be changing a couple of things here. But for you, you want to spend some time here crafting your message, doing your copywriting skills, doing your marketing skills here. You want to engage the person to actually sign up for your lead giveaway. Okay. We already have existing content here. So the other thing I'm going to do is maybe change the color of the button. How about that? So if we click on the form itself, we have options here that we can add to or change the form fields if we wanted to. And we're not going to do that right here, but we're going to click on style and scroll down to the button color. And we'll change that to a lovely green and drag that down a little bit to make it a little darker. You can add it in border. You can add in a shadow if you wanted to. How about bottom right? That's cool. Okay, we're all done with that. Let's go back to content. A couple of things I want to point out here is the button text. So we're going to change this to receive the, how about the marketing, marketing ebook. Okay. For send to, you have a couple options. We're going to stick with the confirmation message, which you can edit, which is down here. So you can add an image, you can add in a link and all that good stuff, or you could send it to a web address. So you could send it off of MailChimp to maybe perhaps your website. Again, sticking with confirmation message and we'll click on save and close. So that is our very simple landing page. For now, we're done with this. We'll click on save and close. All right, with our landing page all set and because this is not going to be seen in Google search, because you have to have the URL to share it out to social media, to share it out onto other platforms, which is going to click on publish. MailChimp tells you it's a home run, gives you a link that you can then share out. And you can also immediately share out on Facebook and Twitter. We're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to start working on our customer journey. So we'll go over to the automations tab and to get started with journeys, click on create 
and click on Customer Journey. Give it an internal name, we'll call it the Marketing Ebook Lead Journey. Click on Start Building. Now you have to select a starting point. MailChimp gives you quite a bit. We're gonna click on Tag Added. And again, you can create a tag on the fly if you want, or you can select an existing tag. We'll select our existing tag, Marketing Ebook, and click Save Starting Point. Now, you can add in filters. Now, the filters help you narrow the scope of people who get into this customer journey, okay? So, it won't be just everybody that goes to the landing page and fills out the form. They also have to meet other criteria and the criteria you set is in the filters. So you could say anyone who fills out the landing page and purchased a product and uh, spent some money on our store, a certain amount of money, and might have had some campaign activity, opened up the last five email campaigns, something like that. So it's not an or process here, it's an and. So you're whittling down the amount of people that funnel into your customer journey. So keep that in mind. We'll say no filters because we want everybody that goes to the Latin landing page to start the customer journey. Click on save. Next thing you got to do is actually send them the email that contains the lead magnet. Okay, so we're going to click on send email from our actions section. Drag that over to the little plus button and let go. And then we'll click on the get email and start editing this. Now you want to rename this because this comes into play in our next step in our customer journey. So we're going to say receives the marketing ebook. Click save. The to and from, you can edit that somewhat. You can change the from name, but if you only have one email address associated with your MailChimp account, it'll only you only have one option. So that's pretty much there. Click on save. Subject line. We'll say, hey, here's your awesome marketing ebook. We can do a preview text, answer any questions, let us know, and click on save. Now you have two choices to design your email. You can select a template or you could use a previous campaign as a template. Either choice will take you pretty much to the same place, just at a different starting position. So we're going to click on select a template. It'll take us to the layouts. So we're going to scroll down here and click on one column, fold width, the basic version. Automatically populates our logo. And we're just going to do some simple design changes here. Something like that. And for us, we're just going to add, save and close this and add in a button. And our button will be download the marketing ebook. Now you have two choices here for your PDF, if that's what you're giving away. So you have a web address and you have a file. Web address obviously goes to an external source like Dropbox or something like that. And you also have the file, which means it'll link to your content studio. So here's our content studio. Here's our PDF. Click on insert. And we'll go back over to style and we'll change the color of the button color and drag that down a little bit. There we go. Spend some quality time here crafting your message, making sure that you are engaging your potential customers, etc. Click on save and close. You also have by default the option of adding in follow buttons. I'm just going to remove that. Okay. From there, you can go up to preview and test, preview mode, you have desktop, you have mobile. If you have a merge tag, like maybe you have a first name on your email, if you switch it on, it will show up the person's name here if, the, if people in your audience list actually have a first name. We'll click out of that. You can also go up to preview and test and click on send test email. Now when you do send a test email that has a merge tag on it, such as first name, you won't see it in the test email. What you'll see is brackets and then first name. So what you'll have to do to actually test it out to make sure it's working is to, it's, is to send an email, the email to you as a recipient, not a test email. All right, we're all done with that. So from here, we'll go save and return to journey. Now here it's gonna get a little bit more fun. Rather than just having a linear thing here, we're gonna do an if else. So let's drag over an if else. 
Because what we want to do here is we want to funnel this a little bit and say, well, if they actually opened up the email, then send them this email. If they didn't open up the previous email with the marketing ebook, we're going to send them a different email. So let's go do that. So what is our yes condition? We have to add a condition that matches yes. And that yes condition is, did they open the last email that contained the marketing ebook? If the answer is yes, then send them this email. If the answer is no, then send a different email. So to do that, we go click on the if else to set the condition. And that condition is campaign activity opened. And if we scroll all the way down the bottom, here is that previous step in our customer journey. Remember I said to give it a name and that name was receives marketing ebook. So we'll click on that and we'll click on save. So here's the name, right? Receives marketing ebook and then joins yes path is based on the camp campaign activity opened. And that opened is the receives marketing ebook. Does that make sense? All right, so click on save. Now, if you wanted to put in a delay, you click on delay and drag it over to that little plus and then you click on it and that's where you set the delay. So you select delay one week and then you have days, hours, and minutes. So we're gonna say minutes, it's gonna be greater than 60. So maybe we'll just take that off, but that's how you would set that for you, okay? So we'll remove that, we'll click delete the delay so instead of the delay, in this case, we're just going to go right to send the email if they opened it up. So we click on gets email. And again, you want to rename this. So it's something that you might, in case you do an if else, right? As we've seen that that comes in handy. So we'll say opened marketing ebook, click save. You can uh, do the to and from again. And then obviously the subject line, just checking in save and again you have some choices here for scheduling you can send every day only a certain days of the week and only a certain times but again for this demonstration we'll say as soon as possible click save then you have the choices again select template use previous campaign as template we'll do the select template again you're getting the idea here so we'll click on the one column layout and we'll just simply edit the text here okay something like that go on save and return now for the no part again you have the option to put in a delay if you'd like delay it a week a couple of weeks same thing same process we'll send an email to them as we did before and we can move over a little bit we'll say the same thing just checking in and we'll do the same as every day as soon as possible. We're gonna say here, did not open the marketing ebook email, click save, select from template. One column width, click the text, something like that. And we'll say, instead of here is this link, we'll highlight that, we'll go over to the link and we'll go into file, just like we did before and click on the PDF and click on insert and click on insert again. So here's our link. Do you have any questions? Again, we'll remove the social follow, click delete. Again, go through the same process, preview test. If you're doing merge tags again, all that stuff. For now, we're just gonna click on save and close and click on save and return to journey. So you get the idea here, right? You really have to think about this logically. If they did open it, then do this. If they didn't, then do this. And maybe you can do even more advanced stuff by saying, you know, maybe you want to remove the tag. Let's wait. Let's put in the delay. And do that check again. Over here, do if else. Once you add in the condition again, you go into the yes path. And it's saying that they, if they opened it, we'll say did not open. And we'll, again, we'll go scroll down all the way down the bottom here. It did not open the marketing ebook e e email because that was our previous email to them. So if they did not open the previous email we just sent to them, we'll click on save. So this is a no, did not. If the answer is yes, maybe you want to go in here and uh, remove the tag. Go over here, click on remove tag, click in here, and then click on marketing ebook and click on remove. 
and click on save. Let's zoom out a little bit so you can see a little bit more of this. So just to recap, so we've set up our MailChimp landing page with the marketing ebook tag. Anyone who receives that tag in our customer journey will immediately get the email, the marketing ebook with the link to open up and download the PDF. If they did open up and download the PDF, then they get a separate email that says, awesome, love to hear your feedback. If they did not, we send them another email that says, hey, if you have any questions, let us know, and here's the link in case you didn't get it. Then we put in a delay for a week. After that delay, if they did not open the previous email, then that matches the yes condition, meaning they did not open the email. Then we will remove the marketing ebook tag. So there you go. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions about MailChimp or the customer journey, leave them in the comments below. Happy to answer them the best I can. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like. And if you're new here and you like this type of content, make sure you click that subscribe and that bell notification so you get notified when a new video goes up on the channel. Thanks, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.